and was just really shocked and surprised and wondering how I had never heard anything about that before. No, I don't, women in my, in general, women are not being informed. You know, that is almost pathetic that I don't really know. Probably an issue of a lot of people is that they don't really understand how it works. I don't know. <laughs> it's to do with hormones, and I've been told that it tricks your body thinking that you're pregnant already. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And I was never told by your doctors anything. So many women don't know, and, and we could also say so many husbands don't know, and so many moms and dads don't know. Birth control pills. That's part of the drug scene, isn't it? You'd have to count them. The entire female population is being used as the guinea pigs to find out if birth control pills are going to have any side effects or not. Isn't that nice? We had been talking about uh, baseball players right. and people being so outraged that they were taking these potent um, androgenic sex steroid hormones and that high school kids were taking them and how damaging they were. But your child can get them off the internet or go to Planned Parenthood and get equally potent sex steroid hormones in the form of birth control pills. The birth control pill, epidemiology, solid as can be, causes an increase in breast cancer. Not just breast cancer, cervical cancer, and liver cancer. The World Health Organization had a meeting, and they put estrogen, progesterone, combination drugs, hormone replacement, and birth control pills directly out as carcinogenic. And they were acknowledged to form cancers not only of the breast, but of the cervix, and the liver. Why are we so concerned in this culture about adult male athletes who are taking these drugs to enhance their, their physical performance, but then we'll give out birth control pills to 13, 12 and 13 year old girls without even a, a physical examination? <laughs> That's a good question that I certainly don't have the answer for. Like cigarettes, birth control is a class one carcinogen. Like steroids, birth control pumps our bodies full of hormones. And like styrofoam, plastic bags and emission fumes, Birth control is slowly and surely polluting our environment. Not so surely if you look at all the studies that have come out from the Potomac River in the last few years. Instead of talking about the dangers of the pill to my generation, it's most important the, abor the abortifacient effects of the birth control pill and the fact that taking the pill could be killing so many of our preborn children without us even knowing it. We were told to protect ourselves and we were stuck on the pill, as Jen said, for the most mundane of reasons. Just about every issue that a woman has, if she goes to her doctor, she will be prescribed some version of birth control. And yet, these are all symptoms that her body is out of balance, that her health is compromised in some regard, that she is deficient in key nutrients, that she's stressed. There's something going on. And it makes little sense to me to put a woman on a pill that suppresses ovulation with toxic carcinogenic drugs when she is already not being her best, not having the optimal health. It will only further compromise her health down the track. So these, these trivial reasons that people are given, even acne these days is a reason to give somebody the pill. But as we've tried to point out this morning, it's, it's such a powerful drug and a dangerous drug to treat acne for that. We are much better off doing it in a much more natural way, getting educated about what the real problem is and helping these women at all ages regain their health and the symptoms of hormonal imbalances will actually be eliminated. So you have an ovarian cyst here, let's put you on the birth control pill, hopefully that will take it away. You have regular cycles, here's the birth control pill, now your cycles will be regular. Well, they're not even true cycles. You've, you've basically shut, and shut off the body so that she, she's not having her own cycles, and you're giving her a, a shedding of the lining of the menses, the, the menstrual lining, and so she says, oh, I'm having my menstrual cycle. Well, it's not really a cycle, it's the drugs that are doing that to the lining of your uterus. It's a fallacy to say to women, we will regulate your menstrual cycles, or for the, the hundreds, thousands of women I've talked to who have been on the pill who believe that every month when they're on the pill, they're menstruating, they're having a period. And even doctors say you will have regular periods. No, you don't have periods as long as you're on the pill. You have forced bleeds. The treatment for women and women is very simple. It's a small amount of blood for the women's health, which leads to a normal diet and leads to the same amount of blood. The blood does not have any hormonal effect. In terms of hormones, ניתן לעקוף את הגוף כדי למנוע הריון ולגרום למחזור מלאכותי, בדיוק כמו שניתן לעקוף את הגוף ולתת הרמונים לאישה ששואפת להיכנס להריון, והיא לא מצליחה באופן טבעי. אבל בעצם האישה, בגיל מבוגר יותר, היא מגלה שבעצם, נכון, היה לה חוסר איזון הרמונלי, אבל הרופא לא אבחן את הבעיה שלה אז. הרופא נתן למתבגרת את הגבולות כדי לסדר מחזור, אבל זה בעצם מחזור מזויף, מלאכותי. הגלולה פשוט הסתירה את הבעיה שלה. 
And the doctor says, oh, you're infertile. We need to treat you now with other medicines. If you only look at the rates of infertility in the United States from the time that we started using birth control pills, you realize that they're not as safe or as freeing as we believe they are. So women need to take note and not follow like sheep. אותם רופאים מצד אחד צריכים לקבל החלטות לפי האינטרס של כולנו, מצד שני, לא פעם, מקבלים הרבה כסף מחברות התרופות. And then what they'll do is they'll just go, oh, your hormones are imbalanced, let's throw more hormones into the mix and add more over here so that the levels are even, instead of saying, why are the levels out of whack? Let's get to the root of the problem. The thing that women are told is that don't worry about it, this is safe, this is good for you. Uh, as we now know, the pill is being prescribed. for the purpose of helping women to totally eliminate menstrual cycles for the sake of not having any menstrual cycles for no other reason. It's an alarming trend, it's a very scary trend. There are no safe versions of the pill. All, all versions of the pill use synthetic hormones which are known human carcinogens. What's interesting is that even today, 50 years after the hormones of the blood, when the hormones of the hormones in the COVID-19, the most important women are still suffering from the blood of the blood of the blood. מאותן תרופות לוואי ומאותן סיכונים. ו- ולכן חשוב שלא נשלה את עצמנו שבזה שיש דור רביעי ודור חמישי של גבולות בכל מיני אה, הרכבים ו- וחבילות אריזה ו- ועיצובים, הת- ההשפעה על הגוף היא עדיין עוצמתית. הגבולות משפיעות על כל מערכות הגוף. והרבה נשים לא מודע- מודעות בכלל לעובדה שגלולות משפיעות על הבריאות, על כל איבר ואיבר בגוף. הרבה אנשים לא מבינים, לא מודעים לכך שהגלולות גורמות לחסרים בוויטמינים, שהגלולה גורמת לבעיה של ספיגת ויטמינים בגוף. These drugs are known to deplete the body of key nutrients, deplete our uh, vitamin Bs, including B6 and folic acid, B12, which are known to be risk factors for um, cervical dysplasia. It depletes minerals, vital minerals, such as magnesium, zinc, selenium, important minerals for our health. It uh, robs the body of um, tyrosine, which is important for thyroid function. It causes major nutritional deficiencies. And you can never be healthy if you are running at a deficit of these nutrients. So um, what we need to understand is that the pill has some serious consequences. Studies are showing us it can increase the incidence of osteoporosis and bone loss in women taking it. It can cause infertility. It can cause women to lose their libido, to have depression. עלייה חולפת במשקל, צבירת מוזלים שגורמת לגודש בחזה, לכאבי ראש, לתחושת מלאות בבטן. Most OB-GYNs don't understand the full breadth that oral birth control pills can provide. They mainly concentrate on vaginas, uterus, and ovaries. And mm-hmm. it has consequences not only internally in the vagina, uterus, and ovaries, but also externally, meaning it can increase your lipids, it can increase your sugars, it can cause diabetes, cholesterol issues. Oral contraceptives may significantly increase a woman's chance of plaque buildup in the arteries. <laughs> שזה יכול להיות סימן מאוד מפחיד של קרישיות יתר. נשים צריכות לדעת שהגבולה יכולה לגרום לשינויים במצבי רוח, למצבים דיכאוניים, לירידה בחשק המיני. אלה תופעות שמשפיעות מאוד מאוד על, על איכות חיים של נשים. All medications have potential side effects. And one of the possible side effects with birth control pills is that they may unfortunately decrease your sexual desire. A lot of doctors used to tell women, just wait and see, see if the desire will pick back up again over time. But recent research has shown that's just not the case. Testosterone and hormones that cause you to have sex drive and will lubricate the vagina and make sex more uh, enjoyable are reduced by the estrogen. The other thing that estrogen does is increases the amount of what's called sex hormone binding globulin. Now this SHBG binds to hormones, especially testosterone, and doesn't allow the testosterone to work. So it's almost just like not making enough, you don't have enough available and active. So these two things, either not making enough or having it bound to something that makes it inactive, means that you don't have enough of the hormones that are gonna give you sex drive. So it, there's a direct effect there. There are some recent studies that show that women on birth control pills have a, a very decreased sex drive. The real problem is not only a loss of sex drive, but the fact that they're now seeing there are some permanent changes. So you get on the birth control pill for a short time and then you get off. And in the past, it was assumed that once you got off the birth control pill, you would return to the same point. 
But what we're finding with many medications and many other things that we do with the human body is the body changes along with what you do to it. The body can return in time, hopefully, but they're finding more and more that there are some permanent changes. The same occurs with other hormones. The same occurs with other medications. The goal of the pill is to break the reproductive system. It's not like normal um, medicine where we try to fix a problem. And if you take a young, healthy woman to break one of their functions, it really does take strong medication. It's killing young, healthy women. Every week, more victims come forward with stories of life-threatening side effects as a result of their contraception. עשרות נשים בישראל סובלות מדי שנה מקרישי דם כתוצאה משימוש בגלולות הפופולריות האלה. חלקן עלולות גם למות. וואו, כאילו אני בת 21, מה זאת אומרת? מה זאת אומרת סכנת חיים? התחלתי לאבד את החיים ככה. גלולות יכולות לגרום לשבץ. This is a known side effect of all birth control pills, and it is on the package labeling for all birth control pills. Bayer has already paid more than a billion dollars in settlements in the U.S. בגלולות פועל הורמון בשם אסטרוגן שמונע את הביוץ הנשי. מה שרובנו לא יודעות הוא שהאסטרוגן גם מעלה את הקרישיות של הדם, וכך גלולות מגבירות את הסיכון לקרישי דם אצל נשים צעירות. You cannot believe the teenage college and early 20 women laying in these stroke units. No one here is a report about these women. They are there as a result of the birth control pill. אנחנו יודעים שנשים שמשתמשות בגלולות למניעת הריון, שזה טיפול הורמונלי, זה תרופה. התרופה הזאת גורמת לעודף קרישה, ליתר קרישה. גם הרופא וגם האישה צריכים לזכור, גלולות זה אומנם שם שמתחרז אולי טוב עם סוכריות, אבל זה לא. First of all, you can have an IUD. There are risks associated with an IUD. So that's an option uh, that doesn't inquire hormones. Uh, then there is the barrier method, and we have things like diaphragms and condoms. And my most preferred approach to uh, conscious birth control takes a little more effort. It's called natural fertility awareness. And it is really addressing the key changes that happen in a woman's body. So that approach to uh, contraception is as effective as the pill. <laughs> שיש אלטרנטיבות לגלולות, גם למניעת הריון וגם לכניסה להריון. יש המון המון גישות בתחום של הרפואה הטבעית, שיכולה באמת לאזן את הגוף, להגיע לשורש של הבעיה ולא בתסמינים. יש כבר מחקרים ברפואה קונבנציונלית שמכירים ב- ב- בגישות האלה, ולכן לפני שקופצים למים של הגלולות ושל טיפול הומונלי, רצוי מאוד לבדוק את האלטרנטיבות. כדי להגיע להחלטות שהן באמת נכונות לאישה.